Welcome to Meet the Rock. Uh, my name is Cheryl Boschleski, and I am the founder of Meet the Rock, which is a company specifically about Malta. So you may ask, why did I get so involved in Malta? Well, long history of travel experience, but also this cute little girl here on the left is my mother, Jane. Um, she came over to the United States when she was 11 years old, and um, this is um, some of her family that's still in Malta, one that I had visited back on one of the trips in 2017. So I'm um, very excited about sharing Malta to um, people in the U.S. Not many people know about Malta, and um, it's just an amazing uh, destination and place to visit. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and why people may want to go to Malta. Um, a little bit about the name Meet the Rock. Um, Malta's literally a rock and you're going to see some pictures in here and the locals affectionately call it the rock. So we're introducing you to the rock, Malta. We have a team, I'm here in the middle, but we have a team based here in the US as well as locals in Malta, people on the ground. So whenever anybody's traveling there, they not only have access to us here in the US, but have contacts of people right in Malta that help them and um, do anything that they need to add on to their trips or any other needs that they may have, um, as well as you know having us here locally. Okay, so let's get into a little bit more about Malta. See, there's a rock <laughs> and some ocean, it's beautiful. We're gonna talk a little bit about its location, its climate, the history, which there is a load of history, and um, the culture is amazing, the people are amazing. And I don't just say that because I'm Maltese, but they are. Um, the food is phenomenal. It's got a mix of so many different cultures, which you'll learn all about from the history, and then really about the activities, and then the, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about some of the accommodations and, and what Malta has to offer. Okay, so first of all, it is located in the heart of the Mediterranean Sea. It's 60 miles south of Sicily. Um, it looks like a little footprint, which is really kind of an interesting um, aspect of it because St. Paul did um, spend three months on Malta. So just uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, of that religious aspect of it. Um, this You've got the main island, Malta. You've got a tiny island, Camino, which does have a hotel on it. And then the mid-size one, which is Gozo. Gozo is a little bit more countryside, a little less busy. Um, you know, some great views um, from Gozo. Um, so you fly into the um, MLA or the Malta International Airport and uh, shortly you'll see you know a bunch of European cities that you can connect through to get to to Malta from the US but the airport has a lot of services there's you know place there's you know eateries banks there's conference rooms so it's a decent sized um, air airport uh, and for both uh, leisure and business and um, this is the most updated uh, cities um, that you can connect to from Europe, from the US through Europe into Malta. And um, kind of gives their time frame from there. I'd say the more common ones, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, London, Paris, um, and Rome are probably the ones that are more um, uh, the, the, the choices that travelers would be connecting through. A um, little bit about the climate um, for all seasons. Um, they are um, they do have a lot of long hours of sunshine, very little rain, although there is some. There's some rainy seasons, but um, they are um, anyway. January, um, December, January, and February. Um, you're looking lows in our Fahrenheit is um, from 59 to 63. Um, you get into the March and April, you're looking at um, 64 to 68 degrees. May and June is uh, 75 to 83. 
July, it's getting a little, uh, July and August, um, hotter, right? 89 into the nineties. My favorite time to go is really September slash even October. Um, but September to November is, um, 77 to 83. So still some great weather there. Not as busy. Um, just because the, I mean, um, July and August is really high, high season because many, many, um, Europeans travel to Malta. It's one of the top 10 destinations for Europeans. Okay, so history and culture. There's a lot. This is a, you, you, you're seeing some old ruins. There's some older ruins here than, say, even Stonehenge. So lots to see from that perspective for your uh, people that enjoy histor uh, history and his uh, historians. Um, the, the fishing boat is a, a typical Maltese luzu, right? So lots of fishing, um, obviously off the island. This is actually a shot taken in Marshall's Lock where they have a lot of um, uh, markets. Like they have a market almost every day and then the fish market, which is just a bigger, bigger, larger market is on Saturday. Um, so, okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the, the history. So you've got sort of prehistory, sort of the arrival of um, man on Malta dating back to 5200 BC. Um, kind of, you can kind of see as they go through the Phoenician um, early inhabitants, they start the Iron Age, um, and then through the Roman times, um, you know, you've got, uh, like I said, in, in um, uh, 60, um, AD, right? 60 years after death, St. Paul shipwrecked there. You've got the benzene domination of Malta. Malta was overtaken by many, many different cultures, but you'll see the, uh, the Maltese, uh, people very, very strong and, um, fighting for their little country, which they do amazingly. Um, so they're under Arab rule. You've got the Norman rule in the middle ages kind of going through here from, um, you know, kind of all through the, the 1,090 years AD to 1485. Then the Knights of St. John, a very significant and still well-documented uh, um, era. And um, we learn a lot about the Knights on some of our tours, just because it's, it's um, you know, a lot of the buildings and, uh, you know, that are there standing today or through this time. Um, you've got the French occupation um, uh, that goes right into the Brits take Malta back to the, um, see that kind of goes back and forth. Then there's the British period from 1814 through the 1947. So my mom was actually born in 1941. So she was born a, um, a British subject and you could see it was during Second World War right there. And she was born in a shelter. And then you kind of get into the modern times um, from 1964 to 2008. Um, in 1974, they actually become a republic. And, um, and uh, uh, you know, getting into the Eurozone, so uh, European Union. So the islands themselves, what's it look like? Like I said, it's rock. There are some greenery. You'll see in the wintertime, it looks a little bit more green, but the water's just amazingly beautiful. Um, you can just see, I mean, it's just beautiful. So it's got some great, you know, uh, water sports and um, just being able to get out and swim. And you can see this over here is um, near Gozo on the right-hand side. Get both of them are probably Gozo. Some big cliffs that we've had some people jump off of. It's a little um, adventurous, I guess. So very common on the left there is a pastizzi. We make them and, and eat them often here in the United States. Um, we get them at the local Maltese club here in, in Dearborn and Detroit. And we also have family members that make them. Of course, you've got the uh, prickly pear, which is very common there, but there's just a lot of different food, rabbit. And you'll see a lot of uh, octopus, a lot of recipes on our website. Um, so we, a lot of very different varying restaurants. I mean, you've got some really high-end five-star restaurants. Um, we visit some of those on our tours, but there's also some very affordable dining as well. Um, just, uh, you know, amazing views and great food. Um, there's a lot of locations for events, um, whether it be a wedding, whether it be corporate, 
um, events, um, just beautiful experiences. Okay. And then a lot of five-star hotels. You've got the Corinthian, which is uh, a, a staple in Malta. Um, the Hilton, that's uh, typically where we put our guests. Just a, a beautiful um, you know, view, great, nice size rooms, you know, for Europe. Sometimes some of your rooms are really small. So um, some of these hotels have some great rooms with some, of course, great views. Obviously the amazing pools. There's a couple casinos on the island for those gamblers. Um, that's uh, Portofino. This is, um, again, it's just, just lots of boats, lots of, um, you know, lots, lots of, Nice architecture. And views. There's another shot of the Hilton over there to your far left. Okay, and what, what do you do once you get there? Okay, so there's lots to see. Um, again, some of these places are in here because it's also a lot of great places for events um, in general or just even hanging out. Um, there we go. We've got. Um, Jeep tours, you know, four by four tours, people that just want to hike. Um, you know, I think this is the, the Mazda Dome, lots of churches, 365 churches on this island. And um, yeah, you can basically hit a church every single day. Okay, Popeye Village up there on your top right. Um, it's a working, functioning village for visitors. And it's, you know, I was just reading on, on social media, someone had talked about it, obviously a Robin Williams movie. And, um, you know, many, many people still go there, have a great time. You can swim there and they've now made it into a tourist attraction. Um, the gentleman down there at the bottom, um, this is representing, uh, it looks like a festa. Um, again, your beaches and sailing, lots of sailboats and opportunities to get out on the water. Um, and yeah, they have, uh, you know, depending on your need, obviously there's taxis, there's your, your typical um, Maltese boats, the, you know, buses as you need them, which we obviously, when we have larger groups, we're using. And, and then of course the sailboats and speedboats and all sorts of things that we get people around on. Okay, let's just listen to what a couple other people have said. This is gonna, well, okay, well, I guess you'll have to go to our website to find a little bit more about the testimonials and things that people have experienced. So they had a great time. Um, and talk a little bit about our tours. We got the Malta Experience Tour um, that is very common. Some of the best things that I've seen in Malta. And then we also have a footsteps tour. So, um, and any of these can be, um, customized uh, for individual travelers or smaller groups or if you want to do private groups on your own take them combine them change them up you know obviously we're willing to work with you to, to create the perfect event for you or if you want people that just want to come in and join on our trips you can uh, feel free to do so so again we're meet the rock Malta we like to uh, produce some exclusive experiences for you you can find us um, on Facebook, on, uh, on Instagram, and of course, you know, take a look on our website, meettherock.com. So we look forward to seeing you or some of your travelers on a trip to Malta soon.